we've been quoted as the new version of the American dream. We have the family, we have the kids, we have the dogs, we have time freedom. It's amazing. Who wouldn't want this? You can have me any way you want. The naughtier, the better. So I'm a former school teacher. Um, I worked in special education for six years and I, I taught all the kids that couldn't go to a public school because they were physically aggressive. Mm -hmm. um, and I really found myself disconnected, unhappy, depressed, and pushing away the things- Two best friends in a room, they might kiss. Yes, we will. What? Claiming to be a Christian while being an adult entertainer is like claiming to be rich while living under a bridge. Women will contort anything to justify or fit their bad decisions, but sadly, there are Christian denominations that will accept her, especially the ones committing blasphemy with women preachers. And it'll be no surprise if the Communist Pope eventually will announce that the Catholic Church blesses porn stars to collect donations from the OnlyFans revenue. Let's get into this glory hole of an article. This sinful stunner is making an unholy confession. A Christian OnlyFans star says she feels more connected to her faith since she kickstarted her kinky career seven years ago, and now believes God put her on earth to help liberate other women from their sexual shame. If you see her social media, not one post is about God or her faith. Just looking at her TikTok profile, you'd think she's a typical MILF thought. Christians aren't actively trying to sin. They're trying to be as sin-free as possible. The goal is to eventually go to heaven, not straight to hell. But before we go any further into the video, let me share the comment of the day. Shout out to Seattle Pioneer, who shared this. In 1969, at age 19, I observed the plague of divorce taking place and decided never to get married or have children. Not worth the risk of social and financial disaster for a man. Now, at age 74, best decision ever. That's what we like to see, guys. So focus on yourself and build yourself up. Don't forget to reach out to us by email to claim your $5. As always, guys, I'll pick one comment from each video. It may be the funniest, a most liked comment, or one that touched me. So don't forget to leave a comment and you may be the next winner. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons too as it helps us out a lot. Now, back to the video. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up You see, women who try to justify their actions will often make false arguments or strawmen For example, She's being dishonest, acting like Christian women are forbidden to have sex with their husband. There are no traditional women not having sex. Have you seen the trad couple with seven kids? There's a reason why people feel shame. Because they do shameful things. It's called your consciousness, and it's there to stop you from doing those things. Like dishonoring a family name. The innocent kids are going to be affected by this for the rest of their lives, and they're going to have a warped view on what is a good woman or not. They're gonna think OnlyFans models are godly women because their mother did it. Although one of the kids won't have to worry about that because let's just say he's more interested in curtain designs than the opposite sex. One more, one more present left, Trey Trey. Wait, what? He's going to Paris. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh my god, that's that was <laughs> 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 to go to Mean Girls. We're going to go see Mean Girls. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't see. I wanted to be scared. I want to beat you up now. <laughs> I thought it was scared. We're going, you and I are going to go see Mean Girls. Yeah. What do I do? Was... Courtney Tillia, 35, made the declaration during an interview with the Daily Star on Sunday, saying, God's message has been abundantly clear. I'm here to be a porn star. This is my way of serving. She's only serving herself. If there was no money in the adult entertainment industry, no one would do it. Part of quote-unquote serving God is living a humble life like a nun. That's staying a virgin and feeding the poor. The mom of four previously worked as a high school teacher, but found that her life lacked meaning and her spirituality was suffering as a result. So, 
she found out that being strong and independent wasn't as awesome as it was advertised to be. Plus, she probably got hit on by the other male teachers and students, thus realized she can make money off of her looks. Before I left teaching, I felt super disconnected from myself and also God, the Los Angeles-based bombshell recalled. I didn't know what my life's purpose was or how I was meant to help others. Of course, this happened in LA. That's why it's called Hell A. If there was a place least connected with God, it would be Los Angeles, where people literally sell their souls for fortune and fame. Funny story, actually, my last year as a teacher, um, I was parking in the teacher parking lot, obviously, and walking to my classroom, I had my badge on with my keys, all the things, and it's like halfway through this year, through the year, and the teacher, this teacher comes up to me and he goes, um, excuse me, ma'am, this is a teacher only parking lot, and I was like, I am a teacher here and like showed him my badge. The best part is, is we had to co-teach a class later that afternoon. It was great. Back in 2016, Tilia found the courage to quit the classroom and began an OnlyFans account with the support of her husband, Nick. Her husband helped her make the decision because he wasn't a strong enough male. He too was a special ed teacher in LA, which with both incomes would still make it impossible to afford a middle class lifestyle. And four kids on top of that, they might have been in massive debt as well. But couples can get by next to nothing if the woman stays home, cooks the meals from scratch, and raises the kids. That's what a godly woman is. The ex-educator admits she initially felt ashamed of her X-rated escapades because she slowly began to realize that her strict Christian upbringing was the cause of her guilt. Sex workers aren't looked up upon in a healthy society. Only now, as the West collapses like the fall of Rome, they are. And it sounds like the Christian upbringing wasn't strict enough. I had so much sexual shame of my own at first. I remember being at a photo shoot that had several porn stars and I was so triggered. I could feel the judgments that society and religion had instilled in me and I was very aware of it, Tilia explained. That guilt is God telling her not to do it because it cannot be undone. It's like a killer becoming religious. That won't change the fact the murderer ended someone's life. That part of me felt like their sexual choices and expression were wrong and immoral. I even felt wrong by the association in that moment, but that didn't feel like God telling me to feel that way, the brunette continued. The devil tempted her, and she was like Eve and bit the apple. Tilia's OnlyFans career quickly took off, with fawning fans helping her to shake off the shame she had acquired. Empowered by the joy she brought her new subscribers, as well as the boon to her bank account, the liberated mom recognized that her new career was actually a part of God's plan. If her bank account didn't grow, would she still do it? And God's plan is her eventually hitting the wall and her husband falling in love with a younger woman who's actually godly. I now reject any teaching or institutions that depicts God as an entity to be feared or to be judged by. God is loving, not fearful, and accepting, not judgmental, she declared. Then, she's not a Christian. Modern women who cloak their bad actions with religion always say only God can judge me to a T, just to continue their bad actions and not deal with the consequences. Matter of fact, there's a famous figure in the Bible that warped God's words to fit his own agenda, and that was Satan himself. We are not meant to suppress or deny things like our pleasure and sexual expression, the kinky content creator added. Instead, we're meant to enjoy and embody them fully, as God has intended. She's acting like sex between a husband and wife is forbidden in the Bible, when it literally says be fruitful and multiply. So she can be as sexy or kinky behind closed doors with her husband, but it seems like she's doing it everywhere except with her husband in the bedroom. And part of this adult entertainment lifestyle is, it gives her an excuse to cheat on her husband anytime she wants. Like when she took a trip to Colombia with a bunch of other thoughts. Y'all went to Colombia? 
Colombia? Yeah. Where did I went to Colombia? No, there was a lot going on. Was it, it was like, like a modeling yeah. thing or like, just okay. a girl's like trip. a creator's content? Yeah. Okay. They, they probably should have made us sign an NDA on that one. Oh my <laughs> God. The, there was okay, wait. Tell, tell me. It's just me. One of our friends, we had security, like armed security. Oh. And he was he was pretty damn cute. A couple of girls on the trip, you know, it, they wanted to experience like a hookup outside of like the U.S. Oh, okay. he didn't speak English. A Colombian. He's not gonna understand they us. They also wanted to practice their blowjob yes. skills. Yeah. So like the one girl oh, was what? teaching the other girl like how what? to do it. On she a, was like, on a live I, man. Literally, that oh, spoke on no our English. Security. Yeah. She just grabbed him and like stole him, and everyone's like, "What's happening?" I was like, "I know that look. Shit's going down." <laughs> and it, it all went down. In my bed. Oh what? yeah, in <laughs> my bed. Where were you? Sitting on the floor watching. Why on the floor? We were all watching. It was we amazing. And not just that, but like they get him in the room, and the first thing they do is like handcuff him with his handcuffs. So he had. Oh like, I forgot own? that part. Yes. Okay. She, I... she made him come in like thirty seconds. It was so fast. The poor man was probably scared. It was he was. He was like enthralled and shitting himself all at the same okay, time. Okay. Yeah. There's another suggesting post that the taking pictures might not be the camera guy's only job. Six, four, twenty-seven, four, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Hey, is Jason here? He has my switch. He's not at home right now. Okay. But you're more than welcome to come in and get it. Thank you. I would love to do that. I appreciate that so much. Of course. Is it like in the living room, yeah, in his room? I'm okay. actually getting ready to head to the store, though. So do you need anything? Do I need anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. You know, you're wearing a robe. You're right. My bad. Not saying anything happened with Aerosmith, but makes you wonder how did she get that opportunity to sing on stage with him at a concert? That could be a perk of being an influencer. Tilia told the Daily Star that she helps other repressed women to fully enjoy their bodies, saying sexual pleasure is unified with God and holy. Back in 2021, the adult actress told The Post that she had even started her own life coaching business to help other ladies embrace their sultry sides. Teachers, are you just over being overworked but underpaid and underappreciated? Are you tired of the thankless sacrifices and the ungrateful parents and administration? Are you tired of the long hours and the short paychecks? Is the amount that you owe on student loans increasing rather than going down? Are you working 80 hours a week as a teacher and have a second job just to be able to afford to eat and pay for the coffee that sustains you? Is your career choice deteriorating your mental health and your relationships faster than Fed loans can garnish your paychecks? You're probably wondering how I know so much about you. Well, sweetie, I was you until I burned it all to the ground and started an OnlyFans. And since then, I've made over $1 million. It would have taken me over 20 years to make what I've made in just under three years, all while having a blast doing it. No more killing myself for a career that I loved, but didn't love me back. No more struggling to pay your bills or just live. Naturally, you're probably wondering how I did it, and if you could do the same. Well, yes you can, and I created a course to show you how. Listen, we need to reimagine how we treat and compensate teachers, but in the meantime, I want to help teachers like you to reclaim your life, your time, and your money. So I'm giving away my OnlyFans course and all of my best practices away for free, to all educators and staff, my treat. Just use code TEACHER at checkout and enjoy. Teaching women to become sex workers isn't life coaching. It's helping them destroy their lives. That's like a health coach telling his or her clients to smoke meth. For most women, OnlyFans or adult entertainment is fool's gold. 
they'll never make more than $200 per month, so they throw away their life and not even able to pay for gas every month. And encouraging more women to do OnlyFans will lower the average income even more due to simple supply and demand. The more supply of something, the less it'll cost. I work with hundreds of women all over America, Australia, Europe, and everywhere, Tilia stated. I'm helping those clients break through the shame and guilt that's been imposed upon them for wanting to be free to express their sexiness. All she's doing is giving these thoughts fake justification to live the thought lifestyle. Just because a group of women come together and agree on something, that doesn't change reality. They'll still want that one man they respect and for sure they'll feel guilt or shame when they get rejected by him for a committed relationship. Because no respectable man will want to pay full price for something people can have for $5. Meanwhile, the beauty has been raking in considerable amounts of cash since she started her OnlyFans account. Last year revealing that she'd made a million dollars since starting her sultry subscription page. So many simps are going to hell for making her a millionaire. Hi guys, it's me. I'm so excited to come to you today with some special news. So I get people who ask me all the time about buying me luxurious gifts. And you can't get those on that one platform with those wish lists. So I'm so excited to announce that I have partnered with Admire. It is the first platform to offer private secure and elite gifting for the one that you admire and we all know how much i love to receive so for the next 72 hours if you buy me anything off of my new and special wish list i'm gonna send you some new and special gifts too sounds like a win-win right i'm gonna throw in one more thing for the next 72 hours use the code courtney with a lowercase c and get free shipping You'll also need that same code to access the site because it's limited inventory. So I'm so excited, let's have some fun. What's worse is that despite her being a millionaire, besides already paying for her content, they'll buy her expensive gifts for a generic exclusive video she'll send to all of them. And this sounds like more of a promotion than an actual article. No real opposing views are challenging her religious assertions. This is journalism today and this is supposed to be a right-wing or conservative news outlet. I feel better than I ever have in my life, she proudly professed. I've changed my life financially. I'm changing the lives of other women. I'm happy just doing me. Whether she's Christian or not, that claim worked in getting her a ton of free attention. And judging by her looks, if she didn't work out religiously, she definitely would not get as much attention. As you can see, the post wall dam is close to breaking. All right, so there's a filter to guess your face age. I'm about to get my feelings hurt. Here we go. Let's do it. Oh, motherfucker. Let's check in on her after she hits the wall and see how good she feels about her sinful lifestyle. In five to ten years, let's see how happy these OnlyFans millionaires are once they get replaced with AI or try to find a good man. Then they might really turn to God. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you'll get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.